So we all knew from the moment that the SEC was wrong about XRP. At least the people in the in the community know. Anybody else that was outside, you know, you have mixed feelings, you have a mixed bag of emotions, whether people didn't believe that they should get into it because of the fact that, you know, this litigation did exist and the back and forth did exist. But you got to understand that there, there is a major problem. There's a major red flag when you're going on for four years and you get to the end and all you really have is just the, the sale to institutional investors, you know, and how that's labeled as violating securities laws. But you see that XRP itself is not a security, right? It's maybe a process of, of selling um, to institutions and not to retail investors. But I don't understand, and that's through exchanges as well. But I don't understand um, how you can't see that there's more to this story. There's so much more to this story. The SEC is just absolutely all mixed up, doesn't, doesn't know what they really want. Um, and I feel like it's all because the only thing that they do want is money. They want to make sure that they have the money that they deserve from cryptocurrency or what they feel like they deserve from cryptocurrency. Um, I think when you, when you look at the, um, the digital world, when you look at the digital era, um, in the, the world of the internet, I mean, the same thing was done there and not understanding the internet. The only thing is it's not done with a, a currency and kind of a currency option, right? It's all done through what you know and, and love or know and understand, which is the US dollar. When you look at cryptocurrency, it's now something that's completely different and could be outside the norm of, you know, how you spend money and how you transact with one another. It's like if somebody was selling a turkey or trading a turkey and doing this, you couldn't really find a way to tax that, but you know that you deserved, or as a government, you deserve money from that transaction or something from that transaction. And that's kind of what they wanted, a piece of everything that's done in this world, right? Or in this country. And I think it's, a, it's definitely a problem um, because they are money hungry. And they're honestly just trying to search for that and that alone. Because the Ripple case all came down to, and still comes down to, how much money they're supposed to get in the end. Um, so when they appeal, it's not on the basis of any new information and if this should be labeled a security or not. It's more about how can they get as much money as possible from the situation, whether it's the sale to institutions, the sale to exchanges, and exchanges sale to um, you know individuals, whatever it is, they're looking for a way to kind of dig their hands in your pockets and take that money from you, or at least a portion of it, right? Um, and a large portion away from Ripple themselves. So it's definitely a, a big deal when we look at the whole entire thing. And that's why this this case means so much to the crypto industry, to the crypto world, that some people just, com it completely flies over their head. So with that being said, what we're talking about here today is the SEC being insanely confused. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but I know that the SEC is confused and Ripple is slamming the SEC for that confusion, for flip-flopping back and forth um, on cryptocurrency. So if you guys could, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. You can check out my link for Patreon, for Twitter. Also, I have a link for Margex if you want to trade XRP up to a 50x leverage. And don't forget about the uh, new indicator um, or company that's creating indicators, Trade Assist, to where right now they have uh, momentum signals. You have buy and sell zones uh, within this signal that you would get. Um, again, you'll be able to figure out when you should sell it if you're doing short term or if you're doing something long term. Maybe you want to just buy into it and dollar cost average into it on the way up and have those different buy zones or when we hit certain momentum. So feel free to check out that link. It'll be the second link in the description. It is something where um, it has a basic level and has a premium level. Um, you have a monthly, quarterly, yearly payout as well if you guys want to check that out. It is something that I've been using and it does help out for the long-term investing for me at least, right? Not necessarily. Um, it could be, it, it could help out everybody, but you never know if you're going to be able to implement into your strategy. The only way you would know 
is if you, you know, use it, right? And see if it does fit. Uh, so feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description. But uh, again, where we stood, the crypto market is sitting at a $2.1 trillion market cap. XRP is actually at a little bit of an increase. Uh, we saw it skyrocket a little bit um, in the past day, um, well, technically 48 hours, to where it increased up to a 56 cent price from like that 53, 52 cent price. Um, where you saw again, um, seven days, it's up by 10%. Um, you see how it has picked up out of nowhere and you're still seeing that kind of pick up from there, uh, reaching this triple top point. So hopefully we can see it kind of, uh, break through that point, get to a 60 cent level, a 70 cent level and slowly make its way up to the place that it's supposed to be. It's at a $32 billion market cap with $1.1 billion worth of volume. And, um, again, we're sitting around a 56.39 percent circulating supply that is out there now to the topic at hand right uh ripple slams sec crypto u-turn um can xrp finally break free so uh ripple uh clo outraged by the sec flip-flop this is a major pivot from its previous blanket um stance that all crypto assets are securities, a position uh, central to uh, its ongoing battle with Ripple Labs. Ripple's uh, chief legal officer, Stuart Alarati, uh, isn't buying it at all. Um, he slammed the SEC for its uh, twisted, twisted pretzel of um, contradictions uh, and claimed the agency's um, definition of of uh, crypto asset security is a legal mess with no clear foundation uh, his uh, critique echoes broader frustrations within the crypto world uh, about the sec's uh, erratic enforcement and uh, muddled messaging and this is a thousand percent true right you see people from coinbase you see the the ceo from coinbase the the legal officer from coinbase that um you know shoots or shots are fired at the the sec um talking about these misleading statements and confusion and all that stuff it's because there's no true clarity this is where i don't understand why we even look at the sec and go yeah they have a valid case here no they don't they don't have that. They don't know what they're doing. They think that that they are at the top of the food chain and that no matter what they say, it's it's going to be it's going to be the the law because that's the way that they interpret it. But they've never once told us exactly how they interpret it and how it fits their current law. Obviously, there should be something brand new because it is something brand new that we haven't experienced before, but it still doesn't make sense the way that they're putting it in front of our faces. So while we're trying to get clarity and while we're trying to do this for the right reasons to have a future here, it seems like the SEC is literally just trying to continue with the confusion in order to continue to gain money. It's all about money for them. It's always been about money for them. And it's a major, major, major problem. I don't know what else to say about it. So I absolutely despise what the sec is doing i absolutely despise gary gensler and the things that he claims to stand for because those things were different in the past and now he claims to stand at these levels with no clear definition as to why he stands there so anyways um that's the breakdown here let me know what you think about this confusion that's that's taking place and they're kind of backtrack for the sec uh, but if you could, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I got to get out of here. I got to go pick Harper up from the bus stop. So make sure you check out the um, the links down below uh, for um, Marjax as well as Trade Assist and Patreon and Twitter, all that. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.